Santa Fe Indian Market, checking out the local artists over here. They only allow Native American artists to put their artwork on display and everything there is handmade and it's all made with traditional resources, which is really, really cool. So we're gonna go check it out. It's my first time shooting a longbow. Well, I've never shot that fish before with a bow and arrow. Really excited. I normally shoot with a recurve and usually it's land animals. your aid. I used to have to walk all the way around here every single day just to get to school and then back just to get home. You kids these days want to ride to the store and it's only half a mile. And there's Martin right there. He was a featured model in the uh, 2011 calendar. Hey, come, on, come on and get this covered. I know. <laughs> so we're here at the home of author Kent Nurburn in Bemidji, Minnesota and we're going to talk to him a little bit about his books Neither Wolf Nor Dog and the sequel A Wolf at Twilight and here's his perspective on many other things and his experiences in Indian country. She's getting shy. <laughs> no, she's always shy. But... We're here today at Native People's Magazine, the most preeminent magazine in Indian country today. You know, we would never, you know, tell a, a Native person that they, that what they can wear, but, uh, you know, traditional covers do tend to sell better on the newsstand. So we're here in Pajasco, Oklahoma. I'm going to check out Buffalo Nickel and Ryan Redcorn of the 1491s. Totally didn't expect you to be there just now. <laughs> Go on YouTube and type in native things. There's like these stupid videos that have flute music with these awful art. <laughs> those have you, got, you got a picture of like somebody from a romance novel. Yeah. That they got, those, you know, they, they... those have a million hits. <laughs> that should scare you. So we're here today at Diné College in Shiprock, New Mexico, and we're about to meet with renowned Navajo photographer, Larry Price. So we're here in Hinkley, Minnesota at the Grand Casino, and we're here to check out the Adam Beach Classic Golf Tournament. After we're done, someone's going to win a car, I hope. Miigwech to our elders, to our singer, and uh, here's uh, Chad. I'm Adam Beach, and what I'm doing is just promoting someone's interest to excel in the arts. <laughs> so I'm here with the great director, Chris Ayer. Thanks for having us. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. You didn't bring any muck talk, though. Not this time. You yeah. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> now, do you, do, you, do you cook the muck tuck or just that's, boil that's, it? That's actually, boil. that's actually a new pack. I'm cling it, so. Oh. But I, I, I love muck My fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, I go up there and trade smoked right, salmon. Right, you know, I'll bring right. some smoked salmon, some deer meat, and I'll go trade. I'd rather have the salmon than the muck tuck. Over the fields that have nothing growing on them yet? Yeah, that side, there's nothing there yet. That's delicious. That's good. My girlfriend's like, can you sign this poster of you? And I'm like, <laughs> be, be, be you're great the man. You're the man. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Good All the you. way across the country. Be safe. <laughs> 